Hi there. The most controversial discussions I have and had were the discussions about hidden orders or icebergs. Because native and synthetic icebergs enjoy a certain popularity today, they are seen as an additional help in mastering future and stock markets. Maybe the next big thing. However, they can be helpful, but bear in mind that icebergs are nothing new. They have been there for decades. As the Trading to Win team, we are very clear and conscious that there is no wrong or right in regard to hidden orders. And for sure, hidden orders are not a holy grail. They must be understood in the thorough context of the traded market. The value of hidden orders can be seen in context to the options market where hedging is an important part for institutions to balance their sheet when the underlying prices changes. Before showing how we have implemented hidden orders in TDW Trade Finder, I'd like to add some thoughts on data feed though. To detect native hidden orders, we need market by order data. What is market by order? CME describes market by order data as follows. Market by order MBO describes an order based data feed that provides the ability to view individual queue position, full depth of book and the size of individual orders at each price level. Only to mention that MBO data consumes high bandwidth to be transmitted and that can lead to bottlenecks on server nodes and connection points. What are hidden orders? A hidden order is an order that displays a certain number of orders and then keeps adding up orders as aggressors trade into it. That allows an institution to only show a part of the real size when this institution really want to buy or sell more. Therefore, Hidden describes icebergs best because they are orders which breaks a large order into multiple smaller orders to achieve the best price for large volume orders without being noticed in the market. With, with the help of TTW Trade Finder, you will see that icebergs can be executed in seconds, minutes and hours. And to add more complexity to it, they can be executed market or limit. Saying that, the exchange's matching engine is responsible for the executions either market or limit of hidden orders. In case you want to read more about the matching engine and other sources, um, see the sources and the links listed below the video. Another important fact to know, though, is that a native hidden order can only be identified and analyzed as an iceberg order when it is executed and finished. Then we can finally say that was an iceberg of a certain size and this iceberg transacted at a certain time or within a certain time. And even we can determine if this hidden order was completely traded or not. According documents related to hidden orders, they state that icebergs are there to achieve the best price for a large volume order. I would like to draw your attention to following expressions. Large volume and best price. If hidden orders are there to distribute or accumulate large volume, then are very small orders important for our trading success? TTW Trade Finder can find any small iceberg in the book. I will show a little bit later how we tackle the presentation of smaller icebergs. Coming to best price. Intention of hidden orders is to get the best price for a large order. Of course. If this is true, then we must ask, is every hidden order in the order book price and trading relevant? We as uh, the TTW team didn't find any trading and statistical relevant evidence 
that if you find 100% of all native icebergs, you will get a significant higher trading probability. What about synthetic icebergs? They are relevant to a certain extent and we added them as well in TTW Trade Finder. However, we are facing an additional hurdle in detection of synthetic icebergs. Exchanges do support iceberg orders, but then so does other institutional platforms, platforms like TT. Bear in mind that big institutional trading platforms has the tools to split and hide complex order types. Given you are an institutional trader and you manage your big trades yourself, by using technologies like provided by TT Technologies, your intentions are the same as mentioned before. You want to hide your big orders by splitting them into several smaller orders. After this brief introduction to icebergs or hidden orders, I would like to bring your attention to TTW Trade Finder and our implementation of icebergs into TTW Trade Finder. Native orders are based on market by order data and thus work only with rhythmic data feed for bookmap. You won't find hidden orders for example for the X feed as per June 2021. That might change in future of course. When a hidden order is finished, TTW Trade Finder plot the symbol on the bookmap chart. There are different types of hidden order visualization on chart. First, as a symbol with metadata. Second, in the hidden order plot. Third, in the hidden order profile. And fourth, as lines in the subchart of bookmap. Let's have a look how to configure the TTW hidden order add-on by opening bookmap's configure add-on panel. The hidden order signals are customizable. Click on edit and you can select and change the design by selecting four predefined settings from symbol only to professional, the layout vertical or horizontal, the symbols which appears as arrow, triangle, flags on chart, colors which comes with predefined different colors. Position, where the symbol will appear above or below the price. The dynamic distance of symbols to the price and the font size changes. The hidden order size must be defined based on the currently traded volume and liquidity. TTW Trade Finder Volume and Liquidity Meter will guide you to find the best settings for a traded session. To give you a hand, we have prepared our Trade Finder Starter Configuration Guide, which you can download from our webpage at tradefinder.info. The evaluation method activates the different hidden order methods, analyzing and displaying native, synthetic, or combined hidden orders. As you can see, you can analyze and find any hidden order. In case of a finished hidden order, a symbol is plotted direct on chart. For learning and evaluation purposes, we added the active hidden order navigator to TTW uh, hidden order add-on. See how it works. You can toggle between past finished hidden orders on chart back and forth. By enabling advanced hidden order data and by clicking on activate hidden order navigator, you can navigate through past hidden orders on chart. In case you have the need to display any small hidden order on chart, you will get a cluttered chart full of symbols and data. See here. Undoubtedly, this is not helpful at all. I will answer one common question which is asked very frequently in regard to the iceberg numbers on chart, only in case you use different iceberg add-ons. The question is, 
Why are the iceberg numbers on chart different to trade finder hidden orders? And the answer is very clear. Because trade finder don't aggregate data. As you know, bookmap allows to zoom in and out. For the sake of data presentation, volume dots enhance volume is presented based on the zoom factor. We decided to display the events and numbers which are defined in the TTW hidden order settings as they happen and we don't want to display aggregate numbers. That's the reason why you might think that TTW Trade Finder hidden orders are a bit off. But in fact, they are precise and accurate. So, uh, to avoid this mess on chart, we introduce the hidden order plot, which plots every finished native or synthetic hidden order horizontally directly on chart. That's a fantastic, clean and comprehensive view of all hidden orders, without confusing you with tons of numbers or symbols. And we introduce the hidden order profile, which plots the same finished hidden order information vertically on chart. Mind that the hidden order profile is based on the zoom factor of your bookmap historical chart. The hidden order profile presents the possible support and resistance of finished hidden orders as they appear on chart. To activate the hidden order profile, you must set the advanced hidden order data to enabled. TradeFinder architecture is made by active traders for active traders. Having all necessary data on chart in a clean, concise way gives you the freedom to focus on trades and not numbers and symbols. To see the hidden order plot, you must enable the dynamic hidden order plot section in the TTW hidden order add-on. The evaluation method allows to select between native, synthetic and combined methods of displaying hidden orders directly on chart. One remark on um, synthetic hidden orders though. Synthetic orders are not available in the MBO data feed. It can't be detected with the same method as native hidden orders. On the one side, synthetic hidden orders are based on non-MBO data and for this reason they are just an approximation. On the other side, because of the reason we don't need MBO data, the algorithm works in every market and every instrument where hidden orders are placed. Full customizable dynamic hidden ask and bid plots enables to add it. The color, as you like, as you can see here. The symbol between seven different symbols. The size is small, medium, large and variable. The position low, middle or high. The intensity is full or variable. Important to mention, size and intensity can be set as variable. So personally I like lines as symbols in the same position. This setting gives you a kind of dynamic iceberg band, which displays, in this case, all finished native hidden orders in variable and different symbol size and different color intensity, as you can see in this example. The hidden order plot as well as the hidden order profile gives you complete insights into finished icebergs directly on chart without confusing you by plotting too many numbers and or symbols on any traded instrument chart. Every line represents an order size. Therefore, these lines or other symbols you can select, of course, are variable in their size and color intensity. One of the most helpful and amazing functions of TTW Hidden Order add-on is the dynamic 
iceberg development. We call it DID, D-I-D. Have a look at this example. You see live and in real time on chart a yellow line coming up. To illustrate that better, I'm going to change bookmap's heat map color to gray to get a cool visualization. You see here a yellow line which appears on chart as soon TTW Trade Finder detects a native iceberg. When the iceberg is identified, the first iceberg is plotted and a line is drawn on chart. A trader can draw several conclusions based on this unprecedented presentation. There's an institution which knows at one roughly at 1.38 p.m. Eastern Time, where the price will trade. The price is on 41.95, until first part of his native order is filled. Only one part of this iceberg is traded. Hidden order add-on shows traded and to be traded volume. Price bounces back and trades again at 41.95. Price bounces back of 41.95 again, and now this guy is awaiting 41.94.50 to be traded. And finally, he got what he wanted. But wait, this institution isn't finished yet. Watch and see what happens at session end. I think you got a clue. We as traders strive for high probability trades to make money. TDW Trade Finder is of invaluable help for every astute and experienced trader to get the most out of all liquid markets and to be and stay sustainably profitable. All these presented functions are available in the TDW Trade Finder Ultra Package. Please see more at, tra at TradeFinder Info and for the French speaking countries TradeFinder.fr. Part of my presentation is based on some publicly available thesis docs and other resources. All mentioned sources are linked in the text below the video. Subscribe to TTW TradeFinder Ultra now and enjoy the unhidden view of liquid markets. It is a challenge to put this complex information in a comprehensive and short video. And a like will be a motivation for me to share more profound information with you. Thanks for watching.